So hi everyone and welcome back once again to the session of PIB 247 where we are going to discuss some more questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams. Alright, so let's begin with the session without any delay. But before we begin, if you are coming here for the first time, do subscribe to the channel and press this bell icon. You can also join this telegram group. Here you will get the PDF of this session after the session is completed and you can also ask your doubts here. And this link you can find in the description. And you can also follow, your, follow me on Instagram. Here also you can ask anything related to examinations. All right. So let's talk about the very first question which says with which of the following organizations Ministry of Women and Child Development which is headed by Smriti Rani. Smriti Rani's Lok Sabha constituency is Amethi. And very recently she has written a book which is Lal Salam. All right. Lal Salam. So with which of the following organizations Ministry of Women and Child Development has launched Nari Shakti Varta on STEM and financial literacy for young women. Nari Shakti Varta in English uh, can be translated as con conversations, conversation for women empowerment. Conversation for women empowerment is, is the basic is the Nari Shakti Varta. So this organization guys remember is UNICEF. So in partnership with UNICEF Ministry of Women and Child Development has organized Nari Shakti Varta on STEM and financial literacy for young women. What is the meaning of this STEM? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Alright. Now this was organized to motivate young girls to make advancement in, in their career in STEM fields and to make them understand the benefits of financial literacy. Financial literacy ke kya kya benefits hai? Wo batane ke liye aur iske alawa uh, jo young girls hai unko motivate karne ke liye to pursue their career in the STEM fields ye organized kiya gaya tha. And it was organized under a program of UNICEF which is known as what? UNICEF UVA. UNICEF UVA is the program under which this Nari Shakti Varta was organized. And talking about UNICEF UVA, so remember it was launched in the year 2019 as a multi-stakeholder alliance and the objective of this program is to meet the need of expanded education, skill development and employment opportunities for young people. So remember this is not only for the young girls, this is for young boys and girls. All right. And it brings together the partners from government, multilateral organizations, civil society, private sector and other young people from across the globe. Alright. So therefore, the correct answer is what option B, UNICEF. And very recently, I hope you all know this, Catherine Russell. Catherine Russell has been appointed as the chief of UNICEF. Option B, UNICEF is the, is the correct answer. And of course, it is headquartered in New York. Moving ahead to question number two, which international bank has partnered with Ministry of Rural Development headed by Mr. Giriraj Singh, his Lok Sabha constituency is Begu Sarai. Ministry of Women and uh, Ministry of Rural Developments Day NRLM. NRLM stands for what? National Rural Livelihood Mission. To organize a virtual event for integrating ultra poor women into missions program. So basically, ultra poor women ko day NRLM ke program se integrate karne ke liye ye ek program, ek virtual event organized kiya gaya tha by Ministry of Rural Development. And remember, it was organized in collaboration with the World Bank. Okay, who was the collaboration with this? The World Bank. Ke liye. And of course, the objective is to integrate ultra poor women into missions program. Now, this mission, of course, is Day NRLM. Okay, here, which mission is talking about? They are talking about Day NRLM. All right. Now, remember, the sessions comprised presentation by Brack, Boma, and Bihar's State Rural Livelihood Mission. Now, this Brack and Boma, remember, are non-governmental organizations working. For upliftment of the ultra poor. Alright. Now talking in brief about this BRAC and BOMA. Remember BRAG is a Bangladesh based international development organization. It was established in 1972. And the important fact about BRAC that is it is the largest non-government development organization in the world in terms of number of employees. Alright. And BOMA is a US non-profit and Kenyan non-governmental organization. It implements and innovation, low cost and high impact poverty graduation program to help ultra poor women. So both of these organizations are working towards upliftment of ultra poor and the way dono ka jo hai, wo alag -alag ho sakta hai, but yes, the objective is quite similar. All right. So therefore the correct answer is what World Bank. It is headquartered in Washington DC and it is headed by Mr. David Malpas. Moving ahead to question number three. What is the total outlay of the scheme modernization plan 4 for CAPFs, Centrally Armed Police Forces, which has been continued till financial year 2026. 
so one more scheme is in uh, is in news and that is scheme modernization plan 4 for cpfs and again this is in news because the union cabinet the government has approved the continuation of the scheme modernization plan 3 for cpfs okay isko continue karke ab jo continued scheme hai it is named as modernization plan 4 for cpfs all right now the objective of this scheme guys is to improve the overall operational efficiency of the cpfs across the country and this will definitely have the positive impact on the internal security of the country all right and the scheme the continued scheme will run from 1st february 2022 to 31st march 2026 with the total outlay of 1523 crores all right 1523 crores total outlay and remember we do not have to go into the details of this particular scheme that what they are going to do for modernization of CAPFs that is absolutely not required for the exam okay for such schemes wo main aapko batata raunga ki kaun si scheme ko detail mein padhna hai i will tell you time to time that which for which scheme you have to go into the detail and for which you have to uh, for which you don't have to go into detail agar detail mein jana hoga to i will myself bring you the details of that particular scheme jisko hame detail mein padhna hoga all right so here the total outlay is being asked which is rupees 1523 crores option c is the correct answer and the question number four for today which of the following campaigns has been launched by ministry of development of northeastern region which is headed by mr uh that uh, who is also the minister of tourism i'm forgetting the name yes g kishan reddy g kishan reddy is the minister all right to recognize the extraordinary efforts of women and girls in northeast india all right basically this is a campaign which was organized by ministry of development in northeastern region and the objective of this campaign is to recognize the efforts of women and girls in the northeastern region okay so iska naam hi aapko yaad rakhna hai usse zyada detail mein jaane ki zarurat nahi hai the name is what nari shakti of northeast option a is the correct answer and i will tell you and i am again telling you ki iske detail mein jaane ki zarurat nahi hai and the last question for today in which state ministry of housing and urban affairs headed by hardeep singh puri who is also the minister of petroleum and natural gas has organized national concave on social enterprises for garbage free cities with the theme encouraging women entrepreneurs in waste management remember this was organized in raipur which is of course the capital of chhattisgarh so option d is the correct answer again this is a conclave and nothing significant in it so we just have to remember where it was organized and which ministry has organized this all right so that is ministry of housing and urban affairs okay so option d chhattisgarh is the correct answer so guys that's it for the session today today only five questions were there and wo paancho ke paancho question bahut aasan the bahut easy the so session aaj ka bahut chota hai because bahut uh, kam news thi aur achhi baat hai kam news hogi kam padhna padega theek hai so milte hain next session mein thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless